Hey everyone, this is going to be my first tutorial in a really long time. I just want to show you a few quick tips that I use when I write tropical house melodies. So the first tip is to use the pentatonic scale. The pentatonic scale is a five note scale, so two notes less than your standard seven note scale. And the notes that we leave out are the fourth and the seventh. And so in the key of C, your scale, major scale is going to be C, D, E, F, G, A, B. But your major pentatonic scale is only C, D, E, G, A. And it has an older sound that's much more intuitive and catchier and very good for writing like hooks or choruses or anything you really want to stick in people's heads or make easy to grab onto or easy to hum along to. It's a very easy scale to sing because it doesn't involve the chord dependent notes. So notes that don't sound good, you know, if you have the wrong chord. You have to have the right chord for the fourth and the seventh. But all these other notes sound good pretty much no matter what the chord is. So that makes them really easy for writing melodies. And so if you focus around the major or Ionian mode, the major scale, you have this light happy sound. But if you focus on the minor or Aeolian mode, minor scale, you have this really dark ancient sound. Really cool. Anyway, so you can use either one of those for writing your melodies, depending on if you want a happy or a sad melody, pretty much. And all right, so let's get to actually writing the melody. Something I like to do is just listen to whatever you're playing it for, you know, the chord loop or whatever it is. We have this guitar. Just listen to it and hum something. See if you can find something that sounds nice and fits. I think we'll do something like that. Like, da, 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 da. You can find where those are. Okay, let's hear that. There we go. So, because I don't can't play the piano, it would sound really nice if you played this on piano. It would have you know a lot of organic feel to it and niceness, but. You can kind of try to recreate that in the grid by playing with the velocity and the timing of the notes. So, say for example, make the first note in that phrase the loudest. So let's get turn these down a little bit. And turn down accent notes a little more to make it sound more like you're playing. So these notes over here. And then you can go into a really high grid resolution and then move the notes around to something that makes sense if you were playing it. Maybe this one comes a little late, comes a little late, and that comes a little early. You don't have to move every single note. It's enough so that it sounds more natural. So one of the most important things for tropical house melodies is to bend the pitches and notes. It just sounds really cool. It's really a really tropical vibe to it. For whatever reason when you bend one note of the pentatonic scale to another. So the way I'm going to do this is put on portamento, which means it's kind of a glide between notes, and then put um, legato so that it won't play two notes at the same time. And then it'll only play one note at the same time. And then you can just kind of write in your bends where you want them to be and what notes you want them to bend in. It gives you a lot of controls. So let's say I want this note to bend from that F sharp to an A. So we put a note here on the A kind of run that over it. So let's bend this note up from a D to the note that's going to hit which is F sharp. So let's start on a D. Adds a lot of groove to it. Just feel. Let's bend that one too. Up from bend up from a D. Alright, and finally, one of the most important things for Tropical House Melodies is the sidechain. I like to use this A1 Trigger Gate, Alex Hilton. It's a free plugin, and it's got other cool stuff on it, like a kind of choppy, what do you call it, a gate, trance gate. And so I use the sidechain preset on this plugin to get the sidechain effects. Very important for adding that groove that you need. So.
Also very important, put the swing on. If you have no swing, it sounds like this. It's not bad, but it sounds very robotic. And so the swing just kind of humanizes it a little and gives it more groove. Also very important to swing your side chain to the same swing as the, the track has been. Alright, so with everything in, it sounds like this. 